make, make up names of the songs and give these guys styles of music, and they're going to have to think of a song right on the spot with open Joe Walsh and Laura Hall based on what these guys say. And uh, whenever you're ready, Songs of the Firefighters, right? Thank you, Kathy. Take it away. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be back with our feature, Forrest Gump 2, the George W. Bush story, right after this. <laughs> Hi, Greg. Yeah, right. What do you think about this studio we're broadcasting from right now? Well, I think it's commodious and luxurious. How would you feel if we had the broadcast from a field in the middle of nowhere? Well, I'd be disoriented, to say the least. You know who protects this place? I'm not sure. Who? The firefighter, Greg. Goodness gracious, you're right. <laughs> and you know, not many people talk about the firefighters, and very Why few... Why is that? I don't know. I guess because... I don't know. Okay. <laughs> and very few sing about them, Greg. Oh, uh, yes. But... We have got something that corrects that wrong. That's right. 400 songs on 300 CDs. <laughs> so almost about a song and a half on each CD. Yeah. About the firefighter. Yes. And you know, when you think of firefighters, you think of music. You sure do. Particularly bells. But then those are also tunes that go with those bells sometimes. You know, when I think back to my childhood, growing up on a ranch in Alabama, I always think about the times my dad would take me out, but I drift. <laughs> what I remember the most is that great soul music. Oh, love that soul in a nice almondine sauce. Yes. <laughs> yes, there's nothing like a fish really letting go and getting funky. Mm. No, I'm talking about that great soul music oh. and that terrific soul duo from the 60s. Mm. And this is one of their classic hits, Red Hot Mama. Mm, yeah. white guy singing soul. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, you know, I would pay a lot of money for this. How much would you pay for a set like this, Oh, Rob? I wouldn't pay any less than $100, American. <laughs> well, you're going to have to go lower than that. 99 Oh, a little bit lower than that. $98. That's right. <laughs> it's $98, but look at all the CDs you get. Oh, what did I say, 300 Almost. Oh, that's a lot of CDs. If I had to do math, I can't, so I'm not even going to bother. <laughs> Me neither, and neither can the audience, so let's just keep on going. You know, the 70s was one of the best times for rock and roll. I'm hip with that. Oh, dude. You know, we would drive around in my Chevy Vega just flipping the 8-tracks. Sometimes we'd take the Frampton Comes Alive album cover and put illegal substances on it. Oh, all I have to say to that is, wana wana wana. Oh, oh, oh. But you know, 70s rock also contained a lot of firefighting hits. Get out! No, I won't. I have to stay till the end of All the right. ad. <laughs> and one of the greatest firefighting hits of the 70s was by a little guy named Joe Walsh. Mm. And it was a little rocker called Three Alarm Rock. <laughs> I was a stranger. Oh, what the hell? I heard a the message there ringing the bell. I guess we gotta go to our truck and go and save some miserable. They say it's burning. Yeah. <laughs> 